Good Thursday, everyone. Our weather map today shows a very active weather day across the southern plains, reaching up into the Ohio River Valley. Strong to severe thunderstorms across Texas and Oklahoma. All modes of severe weather are possible. That is the beginning of a severe weather outbreak that's going to develop over the next 24 to 48 hours that um, we'll even have to keep a close eye on it in our neck of the woods as it moves eastward. But for today, the threat is well to our west. That red shaded region, you see there's a flood threat that extends from Oklahoma up into southern Indiana. It's very heavy rainfall there. High pressure is in control of our area today, though, so we should stay in good shape. Just a chance for an isolated shower later this evening. Looking elsewhere, freezing rain, sleet, and snow falling across portions of Maine. And then if you look to the west, another big storm system barreling into the western U.S. with more heavy mountain snows and very beneficial valley rains. Look at our five-day forecast, a very unsettled pattern, a very windy pattern. We're going to have wind gusts to 30 miles per hour today. Just a chance for an isolated shower, mainly across Fentress County. Highs in the mid-70s, a very spring-like day, that's for sure. Tonight, partly cloudy, just a chance for a sprinkle, maybe an isolated shower. 20-mile-per-hour wind gusts from the south, highs only in the upper 50s. And then for Friday, again, just a chance for an isolated shower, very spring-like day, highs in the mid-70s, a little windier tomorrow than today, it looks like, especially as we get later into the day. And look at Friday night, wind gusts of 40 miles an hour, and those wind gusts stay with us through Saturday. And then, of course, the big focus, too, on Friday night is the threat of strong to severe thunderstorms with a line of storms that will push through late in the night. It looks like now that will be after midnight, so you'll want to make sure you got your weather radios turned on. It looks like damaging straight line winds will be the main threat. Saturday morning showers, mostly morning showers, and then 40 mile per hour wind gusts through the day, it looks like. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. And then we're looking good until about Sunday night. We have just a chance for a shower, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then Monday looking, looking good at this point. Models have kind of struggled with the Sunday-Monday forecast time frame, so stay tuned just in case anything changes with that. Might have to add a few more showers or may take them completely away. Main threat time frame Friday night is midnight to 6 a.m. And I have increased the straight line wind threat. I'd mentioned that I might do that yesterday. And I certainly have. Um, I hope I don't have to increase that anymore. But uh, right now, it's looking like at least a medium threat for the straight line winds. The thing that's got me a little concerned, too, is that those uh, gusty winds out of the south at up to 40 miles an hour ahead of the line. Um, so we're going to have gusty winds like we have in some past events that we've had this this season where even this the straight line this winds out of the south are gusty enough to cause some trees to fall and some power outages. So prepare for some power sporadic power outages for you know any time in the Friday to Friday night Saturday time frame. Um, our soils are saturated, some of these trees may fall, and so you know how that goes. We've dealt with this before. We're going to deal with it again. On this day in 1893, half this one half of the state penitentiary in Nashville is destroyed by a tornado, but the 500 convicts had just been moved to the mess hall. So they had escaped in, they escaped uninjured. And in 1968, here's yet another snow record. Springfield, Tennessee measures 10 inches of snowfall. It's greatest one day snow ever. I swear I think almost every town in Middle Tennessee has their greatest one day snowfall total in, in March. You folks have a wonderful Thursday and keep looking up. I will keep you posted. If there's any new information that comes out today that you need to know about for the Friday night severe weather threat, I will pass that along. Um, so I will be uh, watching that closely all day today, tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow night. So we'll get through this one and uh, we'll uh, just stay tuned. If you have anyone, if you know anyone who lives down in Louisiana, um, Arkansas, Mississippi, West Tennessee. Just give them a heads up. Tell them to be sure to pay attention to the weather tomorrow. It's going to look like a, it's looking like a pretty significant severe weather outbreak for for those folks, um, and it's some powerful tornadoes are definitely possible. So, just give them a heads up. Make sure they're paying attention to the weather. You folks have a wonderful day. Keep looking up for more weather information. Keep reading along in the blog. Meteorologistmark.com.